Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. So I'm in a bit of a different background and this is probably one of the worst angles ever because you're like facing diagonally up into my face instead of flat on so you get a nicer view. So excuse if you can just see like chin's glow. <laughs> I update one and two of my project pan. If you guys didn't know, I filmed the first update and I ended up losing the, some of the footage and I refilmed it and I cut the whole thing down into the appropriate size that I could export and upload and it turns out that my phone just really hates me and deleted the whole thing um, it just wouldn't, it just wasn't having it so in the first update I finished four products those being my Maybelline lipstick in Nude Embrace um, this is just the plastic and there is obviously product in the plastic but I didn't want to dig down into it. I finished this on the 26th of March um, and I really, really enjoy it, enjoyed it and it was one of my, it's my favourite formula. I also finished my gimme product in the project which would be easier to use up is my Zoella Shower Glaze. I finished this up on the 25th of March, so just before I finished up my Maybelline lipstick. Um, I didn't mind this too much, that was our starting line but if anybody was wondering and it went down to here, I used it as bubble bath in the bath. I don't like the scent once it's on my skin and that I think is the issue, like I don't mind the scent smelling it out of the tube but once it's on my skin and mixed with I guess your natural body scent, it just didn't smell very nice on me. finished off one of my lotions that were in this pan and that is my Natural Extracts Coconut Moisturising Hydrating Body Butter. I finished this all up. Um, I said in my intro that I wasn't really too big of a fan of coconut anymore because I overused it. I actually really, really enjoyed the scent of this. I haven't used coconut scent in a while. I've been using shea butter and mango, I think it is. Um, and that is so good. But yeah, my collection of lotions is just really big and I just want to, you know, dwell it down. Then the fourth product that I finished off that I finished off was my Vaseline Lip Therapy and this was the aloe vera one and this is what it looked like. It still smells so good. A great way to use this I found was when I had my cold I was putting it on my nose to stop it from getting blistered and it just really helped to stop it from getting really sore and it really works I find actually because it's quite soothing because of the aloe vera in it. Definitely my favourite Vaseline is the aloe vera one, I just feel like it works the best. I finished this up on the 9th of March so that it didn't take me that long to use up at all. My girl on it. Um, I wanted to hit pan on the highlighter in this palette and here it is. That is the pan and I would say that is a decent amount of pan there. Like definitely a lot more than what I expected myself to get. I finished this, I hit pan initially on this on the 8th of March and I continued to use this daily all throughout March so that's how come this whole like this whole dip is a lot more and I've also expanded the shallower bit of pan all the way up to here. I love this highlighter. Okay so then I'm gonna go in and talk about products that I moved out of the project and placed a new product in. So the first product that I swapped out was my Tanya Burr Cosmetics Cheek Illuminate Cheek Illuminator, which I used as a contour. I really love it, or should I say as a bronzer? I really love it because it's a nice glowy bronzy shade. But I was having really bad like trouble with my skin being quite dry, and this isn't the creamiest of formulas. Um, Plus, I looked through my collection and I found a cream bronzer that needed to be used up this year because after this year, it's got to leave my collection because it's getting extremely old. Um, but I really, <clears throat> I really like this product and I'm definitely going to keep using it in my collection. I just rolled it out because at the time of year that we were at and how dry and bad my skin was, it just wasn't worth using this. Plus, I love this and I've just decided that I don't really want to use it up because I did just only get it in my collection and I want to keep it for longer than just the sheer. So the product that I swapped in for that is my 17 cream bronzer. You guys have seen this in another project pan that I did and I think that was like a year or two ago so this is an old cream product. However it still smells the same as when I first got it or purchased it. It still looks so gorgeous on the skin and I just really 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 enjoy this product and I want to use this up before it goes bad because I know that I love this product and you guys can tell that I love it. I've like hit pan on half of the product and I'm actually forming a dip over here at the moment so instead of trying to like 
edge my way over I've kind of really smoothed out the pan if you guys can see it goes like lower to higher um, that kind of gradient and I've been using it on a sponge as well so that's also been helping wearing it down you can kind of see in this lighting this right here is where I aim my sponge at which is really making a nice gradient up the pan and I'm lowering down the amount of product that is around here the bit that's probably at the highest is just this little bit up here but the rest of it is definitely thinning out so it shouldn't take too too long to use this stuff I don't think the next product that I rolled out and placed a new product in for was my Primark My Perfect Color Moisturizing Foundation Stick. This broke my skin out so bad. It gave me all these little bumps under my skin. I just think that this is too old, if I'm honest. I think I left it too long to try and use it up without wasting the product. And honestly, the reaction it gave to my skin was just horrible. And in that one month, I used that much product. So I didn't even use it too much either. To replace with that product, I brought in my Primark My Perfect Color Matte Foundation. This is a medium to full coverage. I think that it's a light coverage, but on the bottle it says medium to full coverage. Matte foundation, it's oil free. I don't think it's matte. I think it definitely is more satin or glowy. And I definitely would say it's a light coverage, but I don't apply too much foundation. So that could be why I find it a light foundation. I have my new shade Ivory. I flipping love this foundation so much. When we started the project, I was up to here. I've been wearing this a lot actually, and I'm scraping around the bottle now. Like the pump doesn't work anymore. So I'm literally like, if you guys can see, when I scrape, I literally scraping the bottle. There is nothing in there anymore. Um, I'm not gonna call it done though, because I don't think it's done yet. You guys can see a massive hole back here. I definitely can get quite a few more face fill of like foundation out of this so I'm going to keep using this but I have done some amazing progress on it I've just now got the scraping of the sides to do I'm just going to mark it right here I think that's about right so in the face of the products that I used up and managed to finish up I added in a few new products to the project last um, update as well I added in a black pencil liner just because I don't use them enough this is a Academy of Colour eye pencil I haven't actually used it at all this month but I'm definitely going to start working on it in all honesty I forgot that it was in my project then I also added um, my pencil from LA Colours in cappuccino now I just have found pencils that I like better but these are a good drugstore one um, drugstore option because they are literally a pound each I think um, that's the shade there, a brownie nude, really pretty. And another thing that I added in was my Luna by Luna translucent powder. I found that this just really sticks to my skin where foundation is. Um, when I added this in, the line was like around here um, or hitting here on the product side. Um, it has gone down the tiniest little bit in all honesty, like a little bit over here it's gone down. I haven't, again, used this all the time. I generally find it difficult to use this. Um, it definitely gives flashback and it definitely sticks on your skin really weirdly. And my Flutter Hand Cream, I had no promises on how well we were gonna do with this. Um, at the start, we were up here. The second update, we were, at uh, the first update, sorry, we were here. And at this update, we are right here. So my progress is consistent. I. I'm quite happy that it's consistent, but I generally am having to force myself to use this because I personally don't use hand cream. The Sea Water Hairspray, I don't actually know if I've used any. No. So I haven't used any of this this month. <laughs> um, at the intro, we were up here. At the first update, we were here. I could definitely finish this if I focus on it and I actually use it. I also had in here my eye cream from mono skin um at the start we were here at the first update we are were here i use this under my eyes and on my neck because i use it as a neck moisturizer because under my eyes i think that it just shows off my fine lines more than um it should then another product that i've had a lot of progress on and a lot of success um is my me 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 beat the beat the blues um a liquid illuminator in the shade oyster gold this is what it looks like um at the beginning we were halfway with this product and at the i think i didn't actually mark any of it so <laughs> these last two months i've gone down this month this much this month i've only used this once or twice so most of this progress is from the first month um 
But yeah, there is the tiniest little puddle left in there, if you guys can see that. There's just the tiniest little bit at the bottom. It's quite difficult to get out now. Um, but I do honestly adore this product. It's so lovely. I love mixing this in with my um, Maybelline Superstay 24-hour um, um, foundation, which I really love, which is my favourite. Love mixing this in to just add a bit more of a glowy look to the skin. And, ooh, and it's really a lovely product. I really enjoy it. Last face product that I have is my Dole 10 Hydrogel Cream Balm in the shade Stop I'm Blushing. This is what it looks like. We've got a massive dip in here. This month I've been using this a lot more than I used it last month, that's for sure. And it just, oh, it's such a lovely blush, honestly, guys. If you guys haven't tried Dole 10 products, they are so lovely. Then my last lip product in here is the Lacquer & Co Cloud Lip. This is the amount of product that I have left. You guys can see that I am down to there on the line. I have my Kiko um, Metallic Shine Eyeshadow in the shade 01. And I have so much more pan in there right now. I want to reach the edge over here and use up this thinner side and then work on the massive mountain that's like over here. Then I also have in my project my Bare Minerals Bare Pro um, Cream Eyeshadow Stick. This broke, so if I show you guys the chunk that's about to fall off. This chunk right here fell off but I'm going to save it. So left in there aren't still that chunk's gone is that much. So I'm still measuring, measuring this product with the chunk on. The goal with that is just to hit halfway mark. So that is my target line right there. From the first update, we got down to this red line. The second update, um, which is this update, um, we got to this dotted line right here. Um, so we're very close to the target. Final product is my Dirty Works Shea Butter Body Butter. And in all honesty, there hasn't been too much progress with this. This has been the progress line for one month and I haven't used it at all this month. Um, that's the amount of product that's in there. Um, yeah, but I've just got to get headstrong and keep using this. For real, the final last product that I almost forgot about. Um, this is one of those products that I put in to replace one of the products that I used up and this is the coconut one. I know this is finished 19 in 2019, but with the body lotions, I just want to keep rolling in. And because in the first month I used up so many products, that's why I put in new products that hopefully will take longer to use up. This is one that's just replacing and then I won't be replacing any new products once I've used them up, I don't think, um, now that I've rolled in all of these products because these are now products that are going to stay with me for the rest of the year and I'm trying to use up these 19 um, and if I managed to finish all of these 19 I would have finished extras as well. This fruity body lotion, this is the coconut and white peach, this is where we started and this is where we are and that is the last product. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you're new around here and would like to see more videos from me and I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye.